Hundreds of marine animals spend part of their lives in an estuary, where fresh water from the land meets salt water from the ocean. Join us and meet some of these extraordinary creatures. There's over 270 species of fish on the harbor, and uh, probably about 90% of those are uh, you know, what we consider like forage base. So here's the pinfish, probably the most abundant species in the harbor, one of the most abundant and also one of the most important in terms of prey for larger species. So this is a pig fish, it's in the grunt family, and again it spawns offshore, uses the estuary as a nursery habitat, and then it'll move off at a larger size. This is a pipe fish, and it's related to the seahorses. It lives in the uh, seagrass beds, and you can see that it makes for good camouflage, it looks like a seagrass blade. And so it hides there in the grass, and it slurps down small invertebrates that are living in the seagrass. Seahorses are another example of a specialized fish. Seahorses have a prehensile tail, like a monkey, that it can hold on to things, and they use that to hold on to a grass blade. This is a dwarf species of seahorse, so it's hard to tell, but they have a very small little snout with the mouth on the end of the snout, and they suck up little crustaceans, sort of like a vacuum would suck up. There's a couple different kinds of puffer fish. Some are spiky like this, the burr fish, and some are smooth, which are called smooth puffer fish. This is a toad fish. They tend to live in things. They do have teeth in there, and they also make a grunting sound. They do get quite large. A mainstay in these creeks is the gambusia or mosquito fish, which you have right here. This is a sailfin molly. It's another common species back in these creeks. You can see the long lines of dots that go down the side. Visit the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program website and learn more about the animals that live in our estuary.